Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Apologies for the noise because I am sitting right next to the LCMS and it makes quite a lot of noise but I have been off of work for one week because I have been decorating my new house so if you haven't seen my announcement video please do click up here and you will see a little sneak preview of my house which I'm very excited about but yeah since it is day one back at work I'm just kind of trying to find my feet again and trying to make a plan for what I want to attack this week and I am actually doing training this morning to become an auditor which is quite exciting so we have a lot of accredited methods here and they need to be audited to make sure they are up to the standards and I'm getting trained to become an auditor so that is happening at 11. It is currently 10.40. I've just come back from coffee break. I was catching up on my emails this morning and now before the training at 11 I am going to have a look at the system because the column has been changed over. I need to make sure that there are no leaks so that is the plan. When I have another update um, I will let you know. I will not be doing any lab work until after lunch now because this training is going to take a little while so let's have a look at the system and see what's going on. Good morning my YouTube friends. So today is Tuesday and I arrived at work at 20 past eight and since I arrived I just checked up on my emails and I have been reading a paper because I have not been making enough time recently for reading papers and it's very important because I am in a new research field and there is a lot for me to learn so I am trying when I come in in the morning to spend about half an hour reading a paper and understanding a paper and yeah that's what I did this morning. So it's currently five to nine and I'm going to head into the lab because I put some samples in the freezer last night which I need to take out and hopefully they look okay. Freezing them is basically to try and remove some of the fat from the samples because we do not want the fat in the samples and when I worked on this extraction before my holiday there was a lot of fat so I couldn't actually analyze the samples because the fat would block the LCMS column and we don't want that. So I'm going to check on them and transfer the supernatant to another vial. I also need to rinse my glassware which I was soaking in a alkaline solution which I need to do for this analysis also because this analysis is very picky and then uh, today I'm going to be cleaning up my samples using SPE and my student who has been writing her master's thesis which is very exciting is going to come in because she needs to run something on the LCMS so I will catch up with her but yeah today's mainly a lab day finishing off this extraction and trialing of this method and seeing if it's working or if it's not working this is the paper that I was reading this morning. So Victoria actually used to do some work here at the James Hutton Institute before I started, but we have been speaking back and forth because I, oh, I have been doing work on PFAS method development, which are uh, polyfluorinated alkyl compounds yes here per and polyfluoroalkyl substances there you go um so she's been giving me some help and yeah she recently got this paper published so well done victoria I was actually on annual leave last week because just recently moved into my new house. If you haven't seen the video, please have a look up here. I think it will be tagged to get a little sneak preview of my new house. But yeah, I have kind of missed Shrek actually. I LCMS that I look after. Yeah, quite nice to be back to work after a week off. I do feel energized and I feel revitalized and ready to crack on with my method development again. I am back down in the solvent shed again because I got the wrong grade of acetonitrile. We use HPLC grade and we use LCMS grade, which is very, very pure. And it's the LCMS grade that I need. And I picked up the HPLC grade. So I'm getting more steps in for the day, I guess. It's 10 a.m. So it's time for coffee break. Let's go.
When you're working with environmental samples, it's super important to clean them up to make sure that you don't have other things in the sample that could interfere with your analysis. So here I'm just doing an SPE cleanup with these cute tiny little cartridges, which I wasn't used to using when I was doing natural products chemistry. So I'm just running through the method and trying to clean up the sample so it's a lot more clean for LCMS analysis. Little update from today, I was doing the extractions for this method development and also cleaning up the samples in the hopes that I wouldn't have fat left in my vials and I've dried them down and I have fat in my vials which is so annoying. So now I'm going to spend the afternoon reading papers and checking methods to see how I can fix this problem because we need this method to be up and running. But first of all we have a open house session which is basically a monthly kind of seminar I guess um, where the kind of heads of the institute tell us what's going on and keep us in the loop with everything that's happening. So I'm going to tune into that online and yeah, then we're going to sit down, look at papers and try and reevaluate these methods. Can you see those little fatty floaty bits? That's what I'm trying to get rid of. I have just been in a meeting for the last hour, the open house uh, meeting that I was telling you about. And then I have been doing some reading for some new methods to try because as I mentioned, I am currently doing method development and I am trialing out a bunch of different methods to get the best method possible uh, for analyzing a specific family of compounds from a specific matrix. <laughs> I'm not mentioning too much, but yes, and I'm having problem with fat. So I have a new method, which I am wanting to try out. So I'm just gonna make sure we have all of the columns and the equipment that I need for that. And yes, I am optimistic that it's going to work. <laughs> Hello, hello, it is Tuesday today and I thought I would just continue on the vlogging today because yesterday I didn't record too much but just to give you a little update on what I've been up to today, I have been preparing solvents and glassware and bits and bobs for a new method that I'm going to try tomorrow. So that's exciting. I have also been auditing a colleague while doing my training of that, that was continued from what I was doing on Monday. So it's currently 12 o'clock. I have some bits and bobs to do, not in the lab. I'll go back to the lab after lunch and yeah. It is quarter past three and I'm not going to lie, I'm tired today. <laughs> I think I'm turning this into a weekly vlog because yeah, I might as well show what's going on during the week. Got my salmon, ready to go. Hello, good morning. It is Thursday today and it's around just after eight o'clock because I usually start at eight o'clock these days, but today I will be here until five because I need to work a bit extra today so then I can leave earlier tomorrow, just my personal choice. But we do have a lot to get done today because we are trialing out a variety of different methods because I'm in the method development stage for one of the projects that I'm working on. And yes, I need to crack on. I've been defrosting my fish overnight so I need to go and check on that and then I can get started. But first I'm actually having breakfast because I bought these little, um, sorry I'm just scooting across the lab, um, the office. Look at the blue sky. Um, I bought these little porridge pots because if I don't have breakfast before I come, then I can eat these little porridge pots. So here is this morning's breakfast, a cup of tea and the porridge pot while I plan out my day and I'm gonna do some time blocking. After breakfast, I cracked on in the lab and I had to centrifuge my samples. So here are my little tubs and my tubes ready to get centrifuged. Uh, basically, you need to make sure the centrifuge is balanced. I was weighing everything out before putting it in this big centrifuge here. And then I checked my sample and we had a lovely supernatant, which is exactly what we wanted. And once I had transferred everything over and done the SPE process, I was left with a vial which looked a lot cleaner, which was very exciting. Look, you can't see the droplets of fat like what we saw the other day. So that was a success in my eyes. Hello, good morning and happy Friday. Sorry, I'm in the noisy LCMS room. I don't know what this vlog has been. I feel like it has been a discombobulation of random bits and bobs that I've shown you over the week. And that's kind of how I've been feeling this week. My brain has been a little bit meh. And I've been quite tired from doing all the house DIY stuff last week. So just easing back into work, you know, having a week off. So I'll need to cut myself some slack and just let me accept that my brain has been a little bit chaotic this week. 
but it is Friday and I have been here for half an hour already. I have an early finish at half past two today and that is it basically. I've just checked my results because I ran one sample that I was testing a method for yesterday and it looked like it might have worked. So I need to go and take a proper closer look at the data, correlate all my results together and send them to my supervisor. I just like to keep him in the loop as to what's going on and it also helps me to understand what's happened if I make a little PowerPoint presentation with the results and I need to plan for next week and I need to and I can't speak and I need to process some data so that is the plan for this rather relaxed day today it shouldn't be too crazy. I left work at five o'clock yesterday, which means that I can leave early today. So yeah, yesterday was a bit of a long day, but today will be considerably shorter for it. So all good in the hoot. Hello my friends, it is 2pm and I did not record anything today because I was helping um, one of our visitors from China on how to conduct one of our antibiotics methods and so I spent time going back and forwards helping him with the centrifuge sorry my car is vibrating helping him with the centrifuge and other parts of the method and then I was also analysing data and I was also looking at the data from the method I was trying this week and it looks like it has worked which is really really good so I'm going to conduct the method in full scale next week using spiked samples which is where we add a known concentration of our standards to the samples and then we can check the recoveries. I'm also going to do unspiked samples, control samples, the whole works. We're going to calculate the recoveries and see if the method is effective for the analysis that we want to do and if it is effective and I manage to crack it next week then we are way ahead of schedule which would be amazing because then it means I can go and focus on my other projects. I have no idea what this vlog is going to be like because I know that I've recorded a variety of scattered little bits and bobs throughout the week so I apologies if the vlog ends up being absolutely rubbish. I have not done a proper week in the life video for a while and I can only show limited things in this job and there's a lot more people going about. People don't really know that I have my YouTube channel. I'm still a bit shy when it comes to recording in front of people so we're working on it. We're working on it but yeah for now the weekend begins. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!